kitchen where I had some time to play chess. And when I'm out. Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole Cole, and I love everything home. I love all kinds of decor. I'm not one style, I'm all styles. So today we are working in our bedroom. I got this mantle back, gosh, I think it was early fall, and I've not done anything with it per se. So I want to put something in the opening here, and this is probably just something to kind of get me by until I can decide what I want to do. I really don't want to just put things on the wall and... Um, add things when that's not really what I want. So if you get something in your home and you're not really sure what you want to do, take your time. Look at it, decorate it a few times, decorate it many, many times, and I have done that. And then finally, you'll get the feel of what you're wanting to do with it. And I think I have figured out what I want to do here. Now the lighting in our bedroom is really poor, so I'm very sorry about that. We are going to work on that, but the way I work, I have to video at night, so I hope y'all will understand that. I have the mantle, it's got the mirror, it's really, really pretty, it's very, very old, but I think I wanna work at the top down and let y'all see kind of what's going through my head. So I wanna do some kind of embellishment up top. I have this piece that I bought off of Etsy it's very pretty and it it doesn't go but then it does go so i'm just going to set it on the top and try to get it as centered <laughs> as possible so i know that this is kind of a lip here and it is kind of deep and i do want to put a sign in this area to kind of cover up where that hole is there okay so what i'm going to do is I have this two by four that I have already stained. So I'm just gonna stick that right here to elevate the piece that I wanna put here. I do wanna add some blue and white and some beer antlers. And then right here is where I wanna put my, I bought this a couple of years ago and I love it. And I had it on our old fireplace in our old house. So I wanna keep it right here. And that's perfect. The two by four worked perfectly bringing it up where I could see this. Otherwise it would have been way deep down in here. Now I wanna work on this area and I do wanna add some blue and white in that, but I think I wanna add some books as well. Now, if you have some ugly books or the names you don't particularly care for like 24 great books from the Reader's Digest, you might want to just turn that where the spine doesn't show. And that's what I'm going to do here. This lantern was a sweet gift from one of my friends. And inside, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there are turkey feathers. My husband's father, when he passed, these very turkey feathers were in his blanket on his casket. So these are very sentimental to us. Now, I want to do something on this side. And I think... I have these two books and this beautiful blue piece. This is just a half sphere that's in there. It's kind of, let me get back. It's kind of um, frosted and I love that look. Very earthy and I'll put it right there. I just wanna add a little bit more blue on this side to balance out the two. So I'm going to put my C in there. I love this. It's very simple, but now I need something down below. So y'all can see what I'm working with. I have this ugly vent that I am going to paint. I just haven't had the opportunity yet, and I want to cover this hole. So I came up with this like five minutes ago. This is my chicken box, one of my chicken boxes. I'm just going to stick that in front. I love the different wood that it gives from the mantle wood and it fits in almost perfectly. I do want to add some greenery. This basket I have kept here for some time. It's just got some greenery and a little pillow. And I'm just gonna stick that on this side. And then to cover up this, my thought was, to 
to float a chair. Now, does it need color? Probably. Just a little pop of color. I love this. Now let me show y'all everything. So as you can see, it filled in the hole on the bottom. You see I have a vent over there and then <laughs> this vent here. So I'm, it's kind of obstacles that I'm dealing with in this home. But I love the wood down below and I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do in that opening yet. You know, it may hit me at the last minute one day. I'm loving the center. Once again, I'm loving the center. Love the blue and white, love, you know, the sentimental pieces, and then, of course, that up top. So, you know, I got my bedding in today, and I think I really want to share it with you all. So, let's do a little bit of that. The bedding I bought. I bought this from Amazon. It's the Lush Decor. This is the same material that's in the blue and white room that y'all like so much, and this is just the comforter. So I'm excited to get away from the grays that I had on our old bed and want to get more taupes and tans. So let's see how this looks on our so bed. If you've not seen my bedding before, it was the Hearth and Hand or Magnolia Home from Target. It was the gray and white stripe with the black X's. I liked it. It's very comfortable, which we didn't use it, you know, to cover up with because I have another comforter underneath the pretty one. But I just want to get more taupe because of the headboard. The headboard has a lot, but it's a tannish taupe color. So I want to bring in this. But now look, I've already put the comforter on. Y'all, this is a California King. And it goes almost to the floor. And I absolutely love that. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the bottom of our adjustable bed showing or anything. Can't wait to right, finish so this This blue coverlet is from Pottery Barn. It's called the Chanel color. It's a bluish gray. It's very, very pretty. And it's even got some like fringe on the corners or at the edges. I loved that ripped or torn kind of not so fancy, but with a little ruffle on it. I loved it. But once again, look how low this bedding goes. California King in the Lush Decor, and I'll tag it down below from Amazon, and then I did splurge on the Pottery Barn because I love this Chanel color, or, yeah, Chanel. Is that set right? Chambry. I'm so sorry. It's the Chambry color. It's like a blue denim grayish color. See the fringe all the way around it? And look how perfectly it matches our rug in here. Now I'm gonna do an overlay on this. I wanted something different. I had seen the big cable knit quilts and, and they were pretty, but you know, Bear Bear, he loves this fur. So I wanted to get something to kind of bring in that wildish <laughs> look. <clears throat> so I found this on Amazon. It is a rug. However, I am using it on the foot of our bed. Excuse my husband's hunting stuff over there. But uh, yeah, I love this. I love the bedding. Now I've just got to add some more pillows. So Y'all, this is how I operate. I bought these pillow shams quite some time ago and they're luxury shams. Um, I bought them from Steinmart and they were $19 and I just loved the simplicity of them, and I thought I could use them at Christmas, but I think I'm gonna put them on this bed. So y'all, this is not the finished product. I just have the bedding. Uh, I had the piece at the end that I bought at Christmas, this blue, and it's chambray, guys. I said something totally different, but it's chambray. That's the color, and that's from Pottery Barn. I will link as much as I can below. This is a uh, faux um, fur. It was kind of a fox color, they said, but I don't know. It, it's got a bit of a brownish hue to it, and I love it. 
And then these pillow shams, I don't think you're gonna find. These have a glitzy, there's that, there you go. I was just gonna say that lighting is horrible, but there's, it's kind of a glitzy look. And then these actually came off of the couch that is behind me, that was my mother's. It's a Duncan Fife, it's over 100 years old. But I kinda wanted to bring that over. But I've got some pillow covers that are on the way and I will show those to you all. And I actually have some more shades I bought these are the barn lights that had the black metal light covers on them. And I bought these from Home Depot, excuse me, from Lowe's, and it shows the light. So I bought something a little bit bigger off of Amazon. I'll link those down below. Those should be coming in. And I just redone my decor on my nightstand. But I thought that y'all would enjoy seeing the bedding once again, Decor Lush, they have come through. I mean, it is like having a linen, you know, linen bedding. It's gorgeous. And everything I read was such good reviews. So I was like, I'm going for it. I love the one in the other bedroom that we have. And I wanted to go with a more tanny taupe color in here trying to get it more neutral for this house. I am loving it this far or thus far, uh, cause you know, the bedding or the bed is kind of a taupey color, but I can't wait. I'm going to order some kind of Roman shade to put behind the bed. And then, um, I don't know if y'all have noticed these, uh, this artwork on either side of our bed. I bought this from small, woods it's it's a picture of our property so this one is on the side yard over here beside our bedroom and this one over here on my husband's side is like looking out the back in our living room that is a part of the view and we did them in black and white in here and i think they're really pretty at times i really wish that i had more color but i think since i'm adding this taupe color that it's, it, it's really pretty. So I am gonna mix in some more of the blue and white pieces that I have just to bring in some more blue, but I am loving this bedding. I'm so glad y'all joined me today and I got to share it with you. I will definitely share all my little goodies that's coming in the rest of this week. Thank y'all.